all right guys i'm back today with another video and this one is going to be another unit from you wigs and of course this is a part of the color series that i'm doing i believe this is color series number three before i get started on everything if you are not subscribed what are you waiting on hit the subscribe button and if you are subscribed make sure you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a video this unit that I'm showing you guys today is their Yaki Straight Ombre 360 Lace Frontal Unit. And this is my first time trying the Yaki Straight from the company. So I was really excited to try it. And because I've already reviewed a lot of natural Yaki Straight and Kinky Straight units, I wanted to try something different. So this one does come with your two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, a comb in the back, and your adjustable strap. And of course, you do get your royal lace now this unit does come pre-plucked but i felt like it just needed a little bit more i'm gonna take a comb and i'm just going to take some hair out of the front and then i'm going to take my tweezers which i purchased from my local beauty supply store and i should have pinned this back and i would eventually pin it back because it's going to get on my nerves you don't want hair in the way but i'm going to just go back and forth and i'm going to take the tweezers across the hair i'm not going to stop in one spot too long just because i don't want the ball look i want it to be nice and even and then like you see I'm just going up and down so I'm gonna just do this all across the hair and then you see me keep grabbing my comb because I'm combing out the hair that I did tweeze out and I did take out a lot of hair so I'm just trying to tweeze it to where I think I would like it to be I still want it to look very natural and I don't want to tweeze out too much where it's going to look very thin in the front this is not an official how to tweeze your hairline video. I just wanted to walk you guys through the quick process of me doing it. If you guys want a video like that, that just focuses on tweezing out to show you guys the difference of a thick hairline and then the after, then make sure you leave some comments down below. I'm just going to continue to keep working on this to get it to how I like it. Of course, I prefer to tweeze when the hair is wet. I just feel like I get a little bit better grip and I can see it a little bit more. You can go in and tweeze as much as you like. It is a personal preference. If you want it thinner, you can make it thinner. However, I did not want my hairline too thin, but I wanted it to be just right, and I think it looks really good. This hair is very thick, so if you have to let it dry and see what it looks like after, you can always go in and tweeze a little bit more. But this is what the unit looks like now that I am done with it. I did let it air dry overnight, and the color on this is really pretty. I love the way that this is ombre and it's not like a super harsh line. So that is what the hairline looks like on my head. Like I said, I could have went back in and tweezed a little bit more, but I'm just going to work with what I got. I'm just going to work on cutting the lace off of this unit and then I will be pinning my hair back. As you guys can see, this is a lot of hair. So you want to make sure you pin it back so you don't cut any of the hair. And with this unit, like I said, it does come with their Royal Dream Lace. And I'm not sure if all of their units are with the Royal Dream Lace. But if I am not correct, I'll make sure to leave it down below. But I highly suggest if you are purchasing from them, make sure it says the Royal Dream Lace on it. You guys can see without me putting any adhesive or anything it's already starting to melt into my skin and i just absolutely love that so now i'm just going to adjust this unit as you guys seen i didn't have to cut off any extra lace on the side by my ears this one fit me really good i'm just going to take the yellow bottle of got to be free spray and i'm just going to spray this on top of the lace and then i will be taking my rat tail comb and going around the hairline and just pressing it all in just to make sure that everything lays flat especially at the very top of the hairline because i do not like my lace to roll up so that is another reason why i like to use the end of my rat tail comb to kind of press everything in now for my sides if i feel like they are lifting up too much then i like to lift my sides up spray underneath and then still press it in with the comb this free spray does dry pretty quick and that is what it looks like i think it looks really good it looks a little wet in the front but we're gonna go and fix that all up and then that is what the parting space looks like now you don't get the six inches of parting space but i feel like you do get enough now i also did go in and bleach the knots on this unit i could have left the bleach on for a little bit longer but as you guys can see it looks fine it's not a big deal something that powder can't fix so i'm going to pin up the top of my hair and then i'm going to go in with my b 
on the zone heat protecting spray and I'm just going to make sure to spray this on the hair now you do not need a lot of this spray because it will come off very very oily so I'm just going to use my Kaposi flat iron and I do have it on 450 however I'm not going to get this as straight as I want it to be just because I've been loving the not so silky straight yakky wigs does that make sense to y'all <laughs> i still want some texture in my unit so i'm just going to run over it like once or twice just depending on um how i feel it looks like and i'm not going to bore y'all too much i'm not going to flat iron every piece just because i flat iron a lot of yakky straight kinky straight units on my channel but yeah that is what one side looks like and that is the other side We'll be rotating back and forth between the comb and the brush just because my comb kept falling on the floor. Y'all, it'd be hectic during filming time. My floor just be looking a mess. So that's why I have this brush in my hand. But it definitely still got the job done when flat ironing this unit. As you can see, this unit does take the heat very well. I felt like I didn't need to run it through a whole bunch of times to get the look that I desired. And even right here, the unit looks bomb. Like, I really don't have to do nothing else to it. However, I am going to take my Care Care Wax Stick and I'm going to hold my lace down so it doesn't pop off. Because I only did use free spray, so it's not going to just stay in place if I tug it too hard. So I'm just gonna take this hot comb that I picked up from Amazon. I'll make sure to leave it down below for you guys. You guys know I am still using one from the beauty supply store, so I wanted to see how well this one worked. It definitely does get hot, but the button on it is kind of weird, so if you are moving your fingers too much, you can risk turning it off, but I feel like it got the job done. Reasoning for using the hot comb is just because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to wear this unit. I thought I wanted to wear it like a half up, half down style. So I wanted this to just kind of flow easy when it came to if I wanted to part it in the side, the middle, or if I wanted to style it up. But as you guys can see, I'm not getting the roots too straight. So I'm just pressing it on there just a couple of times and then just letting it go. I was trying to go for a middle part just because I thought it looked really good. So I'm just making sure to brush everything out. And then I am going to use my edge brush and kind of brush everything back because I really didn't want a lot of hair in my face. I really wanted to concentrate on the hairline on this unit and how natural it looks. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette in the color light medium. And I'm just going to blend around my hairline to make sure it blends in well with my skin. And then I will be taking that into the parting space. Now the back of the parting, as you guys can see, looks like it needs a little bit of tweezing, but once I added that powder in, you can't tell at all. And you can find this powder at your local beauty supply store or you can search online for it. I think when I looked on Amazon, it was just a little bit too pricey, so I haven't been linking it for you guys. After I am done blending in my hairline, I'm just gonna go in with my Garnier Free Tea Sleek and Shine Serum. And this is a anti-frizz serum, so it's going to help you with frizzy, dry, and unmanageable hair. It also will give a smoothness to your hair. And with this hair, it's going to need some serum to it just because of the texture. You don't want it to come off looking super dry. And it already has been colored for you, so you definitely want to put some serum on this unit. Hey guys, this is what the hairline looks like on this unit and the parting space once I added powder in. I think I really did a good job with not plucking out too much because I think it looks very, very natural. Like I said, you could go in and pluck as much as you want to, but I just prefer this look and I am not rocking any baby hairs. You can definitely rock a unit without baby hairs and not do too much. And it is pretty long on me. It is 22 inches. I am only 5'2". You can get this unit all the way up in the length 28 inches. So for my ladies who like a lot of hair and you want it long, girl, go for it. So as you guys can see, I still have some texture in the back. And I'm just showing you what the middle looks like once again. I am going to go ahead and flip this over for you guys so you can see options. The last unit that I reviewed for another company, I like the flip over look. I thought it looked really, really pretty. I'm going to put a little small side part on the side. Once again, this is a 360 unit, so you can rock this 
half up, half down. You could put it all the way up. I think it's still going to look good either way. I like the flip over look, but as you guys can see, if I wanted to pull it up into another type of style, I definitely could. Some people, they might say this was a lot of work, but it honestly wasn't a lot of work at all. This is one of my favorite textures just because I love the way it looks when you add heat to it. And I like the way it looks when it is freshly washed because you can wear it either way. And then once you throw some curls into it, you can turn it up a whole nother level. As far as shedding and tangling, I did get some shedding with this unit. And then I also did get a little bit of tangles within the nape area. The ends of this unit are very nice. So I didn't have to worry about any type of dry ends. So guys, let me know what you think about this ombre yakky straight unit if you are feeling this color. Of course, I'll make sure to leave any coupon codes I have down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn on your notification button, share and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.